So now we arrive at a pretty important concept, that of omega spectra, despite the reverence with which, N, which, with which the NLAB talks about them. I found it really difficult to see why these were so important. Hopefully I can do that to some extent here. In terms of motivations, I'd like to start with intrinsic motivations as sort of an initial motivation for constructing these things. We first recall a peculiar result from last time. The stable homotopy groups of a sequential spectrum are z-graded, whereas regular homotopy groups are n-graded. We then observe that a z-graded abelian group is equivalently an n-sequence of n-graded abelian groups, together with isomorphisms that correspond to quote-unquote shifting down one. So look at this example here, and maybe just suppose that the ai are just the natural numbers, so a0 is 0, a1 is 1, etc. Then shifting down by 1 is an isomorphism. Um, in that scenario, a um, subscript negative 1 is obviously not a natural number, but we recover the notion of a negative number by um, the information contained in the isomorphism that says that the second element of a1 is the first element of a0, or that the second that for the sequence a2 whose elements are shifted down 2, the first element of a1 is the same as the second element of a2. In other words, we want isomorphisms along the diagonals. So if we want to deconstruct and analyze the z-graded stable homotopy groups in this manner, we'd like the ai to correspond to the standard pi i, the standard homotopy groups, like I've drawn here. In this case, shifting, down, shifting the sequence down or moving to the right corresponds to forming the loop space. But remember, this only recovers a z-grid structure if the diagonals are an isomorphism. This is the property that we are looking for, and we will call sequential spectra which hold this property omega spectra. But rather than explicitly requiring it, we'd instead like to impose a restriction intrinsic to the definition of sequential spectra themselves. In particular, since the act of shifting down corresponds to forming loop spaces, we are led to consider restrictions on the adjunct structure maps, which map a component space to the loop space of the next component space, i.e. these are precisely the maps which in our previous diagram go along the upwards diagonal. Now recall that the structure maps on the level of homotopy groups are defined in this way, and we see that the added requirement we'd like to impose is to make adjunct structure maps weak homotopy equivalences. So just to make this explicit, here's the definition for omega spectra. Again, we require that the adjunct structure maps are weak homotopy equivalences. One instance where these mysterious omega spectra pop up is in what is probably one of the most underrated theorems in mathematics, the Brown representability theorem. I hope to get to this theorem eventually, but for now it suffices to say that an implication of this theorem is that every, again every, generalized eilenberg steenrod axiomatized cohomology theory is represented by an omega spectrum. So even though we don't really know yet what it means to be represented, we can sense a deep relationship between omega spectra and generalized cohomology theories. For example, if we have an ordinary co cohomology with coefficients in some abelian group A, then the omega spectrum that the Brown representability theorem spits out has component spaces that are eilenberg maclean spaces. An example of this is non an example of the non-ordinary cohomology, i.e. extraordinary cohomology, is with topological K theory. The omega spectrum in the Brown represent that the Brown representability theorem spits out um, is now called the K theory spectrum and is denoted KU. But as it stands, we only have that omega spectrum are special subclasses of sequential spectra. What we will explore next time is a way of associating omega spectrum with other sequential spectra. We will ultimately um, um, we will ultimately see that omega spectra are ideal candidates for objects of this elusive stable model category. Thank you.